Although I've tried to keep things as simple as possible, GCD still isn't easy. That said, it's much easier than the alternatives. It automatically handles thread creation and management, automatically balances based on available system resources, and automatically factors in quality of service to ensure your code runs as efficiently as possible. The alternative is doing all that yourself. So now you've learned about GCD, you've learned about Perform Selector, you've learned about quality of service, and more. There's a lot more we could cover, not least how to create your own queues, but really you have more than enough to be going on with, and certainly more than enough to complete the rest of this series. And remember, anyone can sit through a tutorial, but it takes actual work to remember what was taught. It's my job to make sure you take as much from these tutorials as possible. So I've prepared another short review to help you check your learning. You can find a link to this on the main Hacking with Swift review page. Once again, it's time for your challenge. One of the best ways to learn is to write your own code as often as possible. So here are three ways you can put your newfound knowledge to use straight away to make sure you fully understand what's going on. First, modify project one so that loading the list of NSSL images from our bundle happens in the background. Make sure you call reload data on the table view once loading is finished. Second, modify project eight so that loading and parsing in level takes place in the background. Once you're done, again, make sure you update the UI on the main thread. And third, Modify Project 7 so your filtering code takes place in the background. This filtering code was added in one of the challenges for the project, so hopefully you didn't skip it.